All right, welcome back after the loading screen. Um, let's see, it's uh, 20, roughly 20 to 4 in the morning, and we are in Stralsund in the Baltic Sea. And um, let's take a look at our orders. Go to AO84, and I think we'll have to torpedo to. Uh, Target ships there. AO84. Yes, that's over here. Maybe we just have to patrol with them. I'm not sure. Um, early in the morning in uh, September 1939. Okay, the war did start. Uh, uh, out here. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. And let's occupy all the important uh, posts here. I'm going to make sure that my petty officers here get the uh, exercise because I do want them to gain experience so I can promote them uh, when we move to a bigger boat we'll have to expand our crew and um, SH three commander, this uh, Lage, drei, zwei, tool that I'm using. I'm gonna go inside the boat. Lage, drei, drei, Jawohl, Ruder, zwei, Grad Just wanted to get away here from these ships a bit. And, uh, We'll soon go on a northerly course, and um, where is it that we have to go? Yeah, we'll go out through here, through this channel. Um, I'm setting a course here, but I'll frequently change to the bridge and check myself and if it did actually happen to me that uh, patrol boats uh, ran into me and damaged my ship my boat even before it saw any enemy action and uh, I am not too keen on repeating that experience anyway I was saying I was I want to uh, promote my crew quickly because we will expand crew quite a bit once we change over to a bigger boat um, uh, we have cleared the immediate harbor area and I think we can speed up soon mm. that is our not too far I think we can go at least half speed, maybe even full speed. Schiff gesichtet, Lage 297, geringe Entfernung. It is a uh, wartime Germany. Is at war with Poland, so uh, we, we might encounter enemy units. 
or we might even see combat. Um, early in the morning, there isn't much traffic. I think we can. Let's see. Distance to the end of the forest. We all of 325 kilometers. We have a reach of almost 8,000 kilometers at this speed. So we're going to bump it up to pull ahead. And I'll quickly time compress. Alright. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Okay, so that's good enough. We can basically keep going at full speed for the whole the whole duration here. I um I see this mission as a sort of a a final training mission before being transferred as a captain with my crew to a bigger boat uh, uh, in a in a front flotilla away from this um, proving <coughs> proving ground here in in Stralsund. All right, I'll uh, time compress and uh, move uh, towards the AO, and I'll get back to you when something happens. We are receiving a message. Neuer Funkspruch, Herr Kaloin. Okay, uh, this gives us the permission to attack at will um, ships sailing on the Polish flag. No, we haven't gotten very far yet. Uh, there's a small patrol boat here. And then there is another ship approaching from the north. I think so far we're good. Just have to be careful here with this uh, patrol craft. But I think we're safe. I'll get back to you when something happens. Okay, so we uh, have run into a convoy, it seems. And... Um, we're closed. And, uh, we are heading north still here. Let's... Uh, Turn east immediately. I want to get closer. Um, I don't think. I don't think those are Polish ships. are sailing east. I don't they're prob they could be a, a German convoy even. They must be. I don't think Poland was running any big convoys like that. I'm fairly sure. I, I have, as per my introduction, uh, turned off map, map contact, so I um, cannot resort to the map here. But um, 
Yeah, there are no reasons to believe that these are enemy ships. I mean, the day Germany attacked, there was a big um, attack here on... I'm not sure... There is an area somewhere here on the Polish Baltic coast. Actually, this part was German. Uh, Danzig was Polish, obviously. And um, I think maybe this one, this part here, there was a part called Westerplatte, and there was a big um, naval attack on on this area. So I'm pretty sure on September 1st Germany had uh, surface and air superiority here. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all friendly units over there. So um, we can cautiously go back on course just to gain a bit uh, of space here from land and uh, proceed with our approach to the, uh, to the AO. Alright, I'll get back to you when something happens. Okay, so uh, we got a, a message here uh, informing us on, on a enemy convoy here, just north of our position. Um, we should be able to catch up quite easily. Yeah. So they go 5 knots, we go 11 knots. And the distance is 21 kilometers, so 6 knots, 20 kilometers. In about two hours, we should have them abreast. Oh, excuse me, a beam. And, um... What is the, um... Yeah. Actually, we can... Can intercept them. We can adjust our course. Let's see, I want to get to about eleven kilometers naturally. This here, uh, two, uh, five knots in two hours, or will they be 18.5 kilometers? It will make 18.5 kilometers. Around here. I will be slightly ahead 
I'm using here the, the time indicator here. I know this is what they travel in two hours, this is what I will travel in two hours. I'll have caught up with them and even passed them a tiny bit. In two hours it'll be mid-afternoon. The sun will be still in the south here. We'll have um, we'll have okay conditions to approach. We'll keep them at the horizon, and then we'll pull even further ahead, and then pull in the close-up to their course and attack them from the side, from the southern side here. So I expect uh, the actual attack to take place somewhere around uh, probably 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And um, I'll get back to you when we spot them over the horizon. It'll be quite a while. And uh, I'll see you then.